This episode is brought to you by JLL. Get an insider view into the world of commercial real estate with JLL's podcast, Trends and Insights, the Future of Commercial Real Estate. Whether you're curious about making cities more sustainable, the evolution of office space, or AI opportunities, this podcast will help keep you a step ahead. Tune in for candid conversations with business leaders about the biggest trends impacting how we live, work, and play. Subscribe to Trends and Insights now at jll.com slash podcast. Dreaming of a better sleep? Tossing and turning is not your destiny. And Ollie is here to help. Ollie invites you to sink into sweet, sweet slumber to improve your mental and physical health and overall wellness. More than just melatonin, Ollie's ingredients help you unwind your mind for a delightfully dreamy drift off. Sleep is on the way at Ollie.com. That's O L L Y.com. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1258. Headed towards burnout? Here's what you need to do by Christine Comaford of SmartTribesInstitute.com. And I'm Dan, your personal narrator here, and I'm going to keep this intro nice and short for you on this Monday episode. So let's get to it now as we optimize your life. Headed towards burnout? Here's what you need to do by Christine Comaford of SmartTribesInstitute.com. As leaders, we are expected to be highly present, have clear and consistent insights, maintain significant levels of energy, and stay grounded regardless of circumstances. Yet in today's world of relentless change, this can be challenging. When's the last time you focused on you? It's not selfish, it's necessary. There's an infinite amount of work, especially as a leader in your organization. Sometimes you just need to put the brakes on because there will always be more work. Your mind is active all day long with some 60,000 separate thoughts each and every day. With all of those thoughts, it's not surprising that your mind becomes so loud that we lose focus. We know we shouldn't get freaked out and anxious. We know staying present will enable us to find better solutions. We know we should be getting a good night's rest to tackle the situation with a fresh mind the next day, but we can't always get there without help. We've been hijacked. Our patterns are in charge. We're human. If you don't take time to pause and decide to keep going on your current path or change a few things that will make a big difference in your life, you may burn out. It's okay to take a look and say, hey, this isn't working, and implement a few changes that will steer you towards a destination that isn't painful. No one has time to process every single blip in their life. We can't track down the source of every pattern, and sometimes it's not a pattern, it's just life. So how do we take care of our health and stay mindful of what's important when life throws us a curveball. Here are tools that my executive coaching clients use that have empowered them to avoid burnout. Release the resistance. Resistance versus allowing. Look at 10 things in your life or in the world that you don't want or like, tacky wallpaper, etc., and look at each one and say out loud, I do not consent to you. In other words, it's not okay that they are there. See how that feels in your body feel free to use emotion wheel. Now look at the 10 things again. They didn't disappear even though you didn't consent to them. Now look at each of the 10 things again. Say, I consent to you for each. Heck, they are there anyway, so not much point in resisting this fact. Consent isn't approval, it's just acknowledgement. See how that feels in your body. Reflect on the feelings associated with not consenting or resisting what is versus consenting or acknowledging what is. Optimism isn't universal consent. It's okay if things aren't okay with you. Notice what it's like to let them be not okay, and yet acknowledge that they are there without energetically resisting them. Maneuvers of consciousness. First, think of something you are resisting. Now do the following steps. Negative evaluation. Three minutes. Say out loud all the things you don't like what's bad about this, what you can't stand. Really trash it. Notice, what are the feelings here? Then, break state. Ask a non sequitur question or count something or shake your body out. Curiosity. Three minutes. Now, get really curious about this situation. How did it come to be? What is familiar about it? What good things come from it? What are the feelings here? Then, break state. Amazement. Three minutes. Now become amazed that it came to be. Wow, this is fascinating. What's amazing about it? 
What are the feelings here? Then break state. Full appreciation. Three minutes. Now honor everything about this situation or state. Yes, this has been so very helpful in order to bring me to the next level. Wow, so much gratitude and appreciation. What are the feelings here? Then break state. Finally, do a short outcome frame. Map out a clear vision of your desired state for 15 minutes minimum. Bask in it and ask each question in detail. Outcome frame. One, what would you like? Something you can create and maintain. Two, what will having that do for you? What will you get? What are the benefits? Three, how will you know when you have it? The criteria or proof that you got it. Four, when, where, and with whom would you like it? Scope and timing. Five, what of value might you risk or lose? Get present to the risk and what might change. And six, what are your next steps? Get into action. Emotion wheel. Use the emotion wheel pictures in this post to help understand what you are feeling. The center feelings are the core feelings. The emotion wheel can help you get to the core emotion you are experiencing, increase your emotional vocabulary, and make connections you may not have otherwise made. Choose the meaning. No matter what happens outside of us, we always get to choose the meaning we make about it inside. An example, lots of things are changing, lots of short notice client requests and deadlines. Meaning making option number one. This is so stressful. I'm emotionally exhausted by this. It's all too much. Result of this meaning equals missed deadlines, incomplete work, stress for yourself and those that have to deal with the missed deadlines or incomplete or low quality work. No fun for anyone and certainly no ease, grace, joy. Meaning making option number two. Yes, change means movement and growth and a chance to really shine and pace myself. I will show up fully to serve our awesome tribe. How great that I get to tap my awesome brain to become even more clear, find even more solutions as I focus on the outcomes I want to create. Result of this meaning equals empowerment, choice of how to respond versus compulsively react, ease, grace, joy, support of self and others, shine my light, honor my company values, and choose my reality. So which meaning would you like to make? Our words shape our reality, and meaning-making and reframing are key to shape our reality. The key to avoid burnout is to visualize the person you want to be, set your intentions, and get out of your own way. You just listened to the post titled, Headed Towards Burnout? Here's What You Need to Do by Christine Comaford of smarttribesinstitute.com. We're driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search, but match. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so easy because Indeed's matching engine is constantly learning from your preferences. So the more you use Indeed, the better it gets. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash startup. So just go to indeed.com slash startup right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. You don't need me to tell you that something always comes up when you're running a small business. Take the pain out of payroll benefits and HR and put the joy back in running your business with Gusto. Gusto's payroll and HR services can make it a little easier. Gusto was designed for you, the small business owner. They take the pain out of running a business automatically calculating paychecks, filing payroll taxes, setting up open enrollment. Gusto does it all. Want more? Time tracking, health insurance, 401k, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, access to HR experts. Well, you get the idea. With Gusto, you can focus on the joy of running your business. It's super easy to set up and get started. And if you're moving from another provider, Gusto can transfer all your data for you. It's no surprise, 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto, 94. And here's the best part, 
Because you're a listener, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com slash OWD. Again, that's gusto.com slash OWD. And I'm telling you, you're going to love Gusto. Get started today. And a big thank you to Christine, who is a leadership and culture coach, serial entrepreneur, and New York Times bestselling author of three books, Power Your Tribe, Smart Tribes, and Rules for Renegades. For over 30 years, she's helped leaders navigate growth and change by specializing in applied neuroscience, which helps her clients achieve tremendous results in record time. As an entrepreneur, she built and sold five companies with an average ROI of 700%, and she was a software engineer in the early days of Microsoft and Apple. So come on by smarttribesinstitute.com to learn a lot more and check out the resources, and I do have that linked in this episode's description and at oldpodcast.com. Okay, that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's post from Christine, and I will be back again with you tomorrow, as usual, where your optimal life awaits.